It's one of the most famous landmarks in Britain, but now Stonehenge could have its World Heritage status revoked due to government plans to ease traffic near the site. Critics say plans for a road tunnel near the landmark would be disastrous for the area as a 20-year campaign to beat congestion gathers steam. Sky's Louisa Pilbeam has this report. It stood here for 5,000 years, but the modern world around Stonehenge is now imposing change. The main roads around the site in Wiltshire are clogged daily with commuters and tourists. The A303, often labelled Britain's worst bottleneck. The government want to build this to get traffic moving, a 1.8 mile long tunnel underneath Stonehenge. And the National Trust, who own most of the land, are backing them. But some trust members like Kate Fielden are campaigning against the tunnel, saying it would be disastrous and damaging. The deep cuttings, the lights, the gantries, the signage, all those things that go with a busy expressway, four-lane highway, will damage the integrity by the sight and sound of it, of a number of really important monuments in this landscape. That's a fear shared by many archaeologists who believe it could lead to Stonehenge losing its UNESCO World Heritage status, reserved for the globe's most historically valuable sites. UNESCO aren't ruling that out. Stonehenge is one of the busiest tourist attractions in the world, with around 6,000 people flocking here every day. But you can see just how close it is to some extremely busy roads. That's why not everyone is against the tunnel, with those who live nearby frustrated by more than 20 years of traffic jams. English Heritage needed to close. They got the closure of the A344, which is the road that would normally go onto the 303, but it, they had to close it to accommodate the new visitor centre. And all that traffic, 6,000 vehicles a day, has landed onto the 303. But of course, we've been here before. Former Prime Minister David Cameron promised £2 billion to get the tunnel built back in 2014. That plan may finally get approval on Tuesday when an announcement is due from the government. Until then, one thing is certain. The traffic will keep on coming. Louisa Pilbeam, Sky News.